not like a freak out, I guess. Yeah. What is with this? God damn it. Well, nachos are fast, so. We'll get it eventually. Eventually. Sunflowers galore. Yeehaw. Crushing sunflowers left and right. Wow, there's a lot of uh, morning glories, and they seem to have somehow gotten a bunch of water, even though it's dry. Well, yeah, they're still alive. Cool. Gotta creep up here in first gear. <laughs> yeah. truck can handle is just this. It's a light truck. Like this is about the most a Toyota truck can handle. Most trucks can only handle this. Yeah. You need a really tough truck to be able to handle much more than this. I love the soil. I know. I'm recording it because it's so beautiful. Oh yeah, here we are. Whoa, oh shit. Oh. There's that view. So we're going up to a different hill up here. Man, so we'd have to take some road. Yeah, we'd have to find our way over. I don't know if there's any road up this side. Well, well we should get a lookout over here somewhere though. Yeah. It'll be pleasant. Well, let's, uh, we can pan to start with. All right. Like show off the view. Okay. I get a dam, of course. Zoom in on those speed boats until you can see the couple making out at high speed. I'll try. Use your uh, 200X photo zoomy lensy. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I have a digital zoom at six bowls. Yeah. There's two jet skis on the water maybe I know I'm pointing at him with digital zoom on anyway yeah whatever we thought we were gonna do this when it was sunny but now it's all cloudy suddenly so it did say it was gonna get cloudy on the weather 
And out there we got the Emmett Valley and beyond it the Treasure Valley and beyond that mountains that are mysteriously flat. Pretty cool. But what this is, I guess, is a podcast where we uh, eat delicious nachos on uh, the mountainside. Talk about today's non-issues. <laughs> Sweet. Looks pretty tasty. Check that out. Looks pretty good to me. Yep. Uh, no paper towels, whatever. Huh. Even got some of their signature hot sauce. The different uh, re restaurants have their own hot sauce balances. At one in the Emmett restaurant, it's kind of hot, but it's real pleasant. It's not, for me, of course, too hot, but mm -hmm. I guess if you're sensitive, it would be. Mmm. So, uh... It's been pretty hot, right? Yeah, it's been like insanely hot. I was like coming home late in the evening yesterday, and like a sign said it was a hundred then, and it like had gone down. It felt like ten degrees. It was like a hundred and ten yesterday. And when that happens, there's big waves that come in from, like, Seattle of, of uh, you see these clouds now. It was so strange because the clouds, like, all stacked up, all super squashed trying to get over the mountains into these valleys here. There's some sort of, like, pressure phenomenon going on because the pressure has been real heavy down in these valleys, like, settled low pressure. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Um, you know what I was thinking about? Seeing as how we're like literally out in you know the middle of nowhere, it would be great if like with our truck or something, they would actually with newer generations because with older generations of video game consoles they didn't do this. Like only the older ones, I mean. Sorry, <laughs> GameCube had a screen, and that might have been like at least semi-official. PlayStation Two had a screen that came with it with speakers. Xbox even did it. You know secretly they funded the companies to even have them, third-party companies, do it. Because there's none, no practical application for the Wii or for, uh, well, there was a you bunch know, of the Xbox 360 or PlayStation yeah. 4 or anything. And so why that sucks, because you should just be able to have, like, a big briefcase-sized battery pack that would work with even these powerful, more powerful systems. And then you can have at least, like, four to eight, come on, like, six, eight hours of battery, something... So you can play out in the woods or when, you know, you're like... Go up on the mountain and play some Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. And Let's so, see. that's terrible. Like, there's no portability for home consoles anymore, let alone uh, computer cases. They don't have any practical battery So, yeah, what you need is that. the screen, the uh, some sort of internet adapter to your cell phone for your console. Mm -hmm. So you can have service up here, good internet, 5G. Because, yeah. you know, great service here. And then, uh... Let's see, yeah, you need the screen for the console, and then you need the battery pack, which my idea is that it connects to um, the battery of the vehicle with, like, lead wires that, you know, run however distance conveniently. And then um, you can draw directly from the battery of the vehicle, and you can have the vehicle on or off, and, you know, there's plenty of juice to uh, keep everything at maximum because, you know, the alternator keeps the battery full in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's like so convenient for camping, uh, battery packs for like gaming and TV in general. <clears throat> I agree, I agree. Because like my other idea is like the back of a truck where there's like the rack on the back window of a pickup truck. You, you, there needs to be some sort of convenient screen mounts available for sale. Somebody should start selling these. It, it's such a good idea. I don't have the energy to uh, start fabricating them, but they would sell so good. Think about it. If life was real, 
in any way, then I could just patent that and create like a PVC version and get some metal and just do it myself. But eh, yeah, right. Somebody would just steal it instantly. Uh, so whatever. Whoever sees this video, I guess you'll steal it, the idea. Yeah. I just kind of want to see it where you can just like fold the screen any direction, you know, off of the back of the uh, cab of the truck. Because then you can like mount like a big screen, like 65 inch screen that fills up the whole back area of the truck. And then you can like watch movies out in the middle of nowhere with your big battery pack that like attaches to the vehicle. It's like every half hour you just fire up the vehicle and recharge the batteries. It just sounds like you should be on a new modern version of Pimp My Ride. Right? I don't know why that show never evolved. Like certain things get canceled and don't evolve into like the next step and the next step. While other things like continue. Like for example, those home improvement shows for undeserving families. They kept going. But then, you know, Pimp My Ride could have become classier, could have done extreme things, even more extreme with a bigger budget. But it never, it just, it just faded away instantly. I wanted to see Pimp My Ride master, um, plane cars where they, like, glide, glider cars. <laughs> Go off of a cliff. There was and... an old, early 2000s flash game where there was, like, jet wings they would add on. It was the Pimp My Ride flash game. <laughs> they would add yeah. jet wings, even though it's like, yeah, right, those aren't big enough to make it lift off. How, I never even, I don't remember that, but I still said that, huh? It was an old game a bunch of people played at the local YMCA in the game room on those crappy old computers because Flash will run on them. Yeah. Let's not forget that Flash was like, called Shockwave, of course. Flash was like the vulnerable security version that was like made to, um make hackers happy, I don't know. Yeah, it was independent, directly. Like, it wasn't uh, official Adobe Macromedia or Shockwave. It's yep. like a modification, directly. Yeah, everybody's using a modified version of, of Macromedia. <clears throat> Pretty much. So, um... Was, is there anything else we were going to talk about? Let's see here. Uh, well, we could dance here. I don't. My legs are really sore right now from I'm too. growing. My knees are loosening. Yeah. Like you know, I gotta show you this. Okay, so I'll stand on this chair. So like, legs they should go straight. There shouldn't be waivers in the bones at the knees. The knees should be centered. And so you see with my legs, they're bowing outwards. And so that's starting to change right now. I'm starting to get more muscles, and they're pulling things straight here. What I find that strange about that is uh, when the legs do that, it ordinarily means that you've been riding horses, and ordinarily the thighs do it too. But you, we just have it in our calves. I have it Well, it's too. because uh, it just happened because of the way we were not growing quite right. But mm -hmm. mainly because our ancestry probably rode horses bareback so much. I assume that so. That you had your knees crouched up on the either side of the horse's uh, spine. Yeah. Ridge yeah. there. And so your knees, like the shape of your knees get pushed out like that. That's horrible. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, yeah, it just seems like you're just going back to older genetics because the newer ones are weaker. Yeah. And those aren't ideal because those genetics are literally, the, the person reproduced while having those legs that way because they started riding so young yeah that they uh reproduced with the genetic like problem present immediately. that's a good question if you're really pushing it like that then it, your kids do get adapted a little more yeah because like the extreme pressure on your body what they don't want to talk about is that you'll drop back like what we're talking about with our legs is you know old genetics like you just roll back through however much dna to access something, you know, your body does automatically as you're alive, if you have any help, that functions better, hopefully, you know, some sort of ancestral DNA of some part. However, you know, there can be weird weaknesses to it, too, due to the way they lived, and, you know. Yeah. Because this DNA is inherited DNA, which means that the physical things they did before they reproduced, if it was in their body shape, can affect you. And you can believe this or not, but like, 
last year, like, I connected through God, of course, the, uh, you know, is how you, it happened, to an ancestor that I was, like, sharing DNA with, like, what was it, like, five generations back, who, like, was frozen cold for a while, like, living in the north area somewhere. Well, I mean, that's not unbelievable, because you're Native American, so, I mean... People can always choose not to believe the um, tribal mysticisms of various cultures, but I mean, there's native Siberians. But if that you track the same it things. across the world, everybody has the same beliefs in God. Yeah, it is true. Some people believe in like the Trinity triune goddesses of nature, though. <clears throat> yeah. I always tell people there's a lot of Trinities. And so, of course, the trinity that has God in it is probably the most important, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, Hare Krishnas, I believe in their thing where it's like, no, so long as the being or beings that are being worshipped are good, inherently, all the concepts about them. Well, yeah, that was always considered general philosophy. They say, yeah, that's good. Let me just, uh, you know, actual... Uh people trying to convert anybody to any other religion they always show up and they say yeah that's good but here's uh somebody else to think about too not not i'm trying to like viciously force you to only believe in in uh one being because all they were really saying is if they were god people because there can be god people of various religions because god is just the highest power they just say well it's he's the biggest and it's almost always they believe that it's a he you know well, I'm just going by what everybody do has already done. I'm not adding anything new to anything, when I'm, what yeah. I'm saying here. Of course, that's why it's getting boring. But anyways, the view behind us there, the really rocky outcrop, it has even a better view of stuff, you know, in the valley right there. So we're going to get up there someday and uh, dance up there. This is yeah. just an eating spot, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Next time I bring some dessert with us. How are I? We can do another eating podcast somewhere else, scenic. I've got another spot picked out. You think this is good? The next spot is gonna like blow your socks like onto your cousin's feet in the next state over. <laughs> blow them right off and they'll appear on the other person's feet. Cool. Well, I guess uh, we're done here. Yup.